Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to the Box of Bucket. I am losing my brain today. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into, uh, uh, it's, it's Marco, it's uh, tomorrow's fight on, on ESPN. Steve Claggart and Marcos Barraza. Uh, interesting fight that's going to be on streamed on ESPN2, live from Montreal, Canada, a great little fight city. Uh, it's on the undercard portion. I, I really like Steve Claggart. I originally thought this was the main event, and I was scratching my head, but I found out it's not. So I may come back and do an Eric Bazanian uh, video tomorrow or later today, or I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but we may or may not do that. But let's get into this fight. Uh, this is a good fight to make money on. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what we're doing. They don't know what they're doing. They're, uh, there's always a bull market somewhere, and I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. I know how to make money. We've done it consistently. We're like 8-2 and two this year. We're absolutely killing it. Follow me. Uh, subscribe. Also, join my Patreon. Uh, $5 a month. Get you all types of perks, free shirt, the lock of the week, a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, so go to Patreon and follow me and subscribe to me at 3D Boxing Box. It's $5 a month. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right. Now that we're done with all that, let's get into the fight. Steve Claggart is fun. He's a Canadian fighter. Uh, he doesn't have the most spectacular record, but he's put some good wins together. He's a, he's a lot to deal with. If you're a good boxer or you're a big hitter and good on the inside, you can have him. He can be had. But, well, well, we'll get to that later. He's a 140 pounder. He's got a record of, of 37, 7, and 2. He 2023 was a very good year for him. He went 4 and 0 with one, two, two knockouts. He got wins over Alberto Machado, former uh, world champion. And he also got a big win, a, a, a wide point victory over Miguel Madueno. Uh, so those were good wins. He, he's an all out He comes forward, he fights in a phone booth. He, he's pretty good with his movement. Uh, he's not ultra fast. He doesn't have a ton of pop. Although I wouldn't say he's got no pop. He's got 25 knockouts and 37 fights. But a lot of accumulation. He wears you down. He breaks you down. He's got extremely high volume. You know, he's just going to be in your grill, working, 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 working. Um, he works his combos. He goes to the body really well. He's exactly what you would expect from a super ultra pressure fighter uh, who's just on you. Um, he mixes up his shots. He wants to come forward at all times. He works really clean uppercuts up the middle. So he's got some skill. He's got some technique in in, in the, in the mid-range. He doesn't have a ton of power. He fights in a crouch. He makes himself small. He's small to start with, and then he makes himself even smaller in the way he fights. So if you're a tall guy, uh, he can be an issue. He can be an issue. Hitting down on him, he can be, he can be slippery. You know, he's not particularly fast. But what he does, he does good, and he's relentless, and he's got a tremendous gas tank, and he keeps he keeps pressure, and he keeps throwing punches. He's he's on you, he's on you like a gnat, just swarming you, putting pressure on you, hitting you all, all over the place. Super super aggressive, stays busy. If you can picture that, that's what we're looking at. This opponent, uh, Marcos Barraza. There's some tape on him on YouTube. You can find him. To me, this is a guy that's going to quit. He's 23-3. and three. He's got 11 knockouts. He's off the back foot. He likes to fight from distance. He's not your typical Mexican fighter. He's got a couple of losses. He lost on a televised card that I found against a uh, prospect. I think he's from – yeah, he's from Armenia. Havanis Bakov, 5-0, good fighter. He quit in that fight. At the second round, he just wouldn't answer. Okay, maybe that happened. He fought Giovanni Straffern, too. Giovanni Straffin is the one that just fought Andy Cruz. When he fought Straffin, he quit in that fight too. He quit by kept, he kept spitting out his mouthpiece to get disqualified. So, and that was back in 2016. So he's got a history of this. He has a win over Rafael Reyes back in 2016 as, as well. He's not a terrible. Rafael Reyes is used as an opponent for everybody. He's fought Javi Fernandez. He's fought Adam Ochoa. He's fought a ton of people. Noah Acaveria. Raymond Ford, Adam Lopez. He's he's fought all those guys. He's got to win over him. I don't 
think he wants to be here. I think he's collecting a check, and I think he's going to quit. If you watch him, he's straight in line. He's easy to hit. He's got some, you know, he, he likes to be off the back, but he can jab. He's got a little side-to-side -side movement. He took three years off in 2018 and 2021, which tells me he came back just for the money uh, that he was done with the sport. He can make you miss a little bit, but a lot of it is just he's just uh, stationary. He doesn't move his head off line. He, he's just straight there to be hit. He doesn't look like he's in great shape. If you, if you watch his fight, he's chubby. He, you know, he's not fat, like, you know, fat, fat, but he's loose around the midsection. He doesn't let you know, go to his body. He can be had. I, I just don't think that this is a, a – I don't think he's going to be looking to win the fight, and I think he, he will quit. And I, I, I So we're going to get to the over-under, but I definitely think Claggett's pressure and his volume and his style is, is going to make a guy that's known to quit, quit. Just like, putting it out there. All right, let's look at the line here. Let's get into the line. And it's not great, but I'm going to show you how to make money on it. Steve Claggart is a minus 2,000. So we're going to bet times two on that, and it's going to make us 10 bucks. Then we're going to take under 6.5, and, and we're going to make 83.33. So we're going to go under 6.5. So we got until the middle of the seventh round to get him out. I'm, I'm confident with that pick. It's only eight-rounder. Claggart will get him out. I think he'll get him out quick enough. I think he'll get him out at four. Uh, Four, five, six is what I mean. yeah, he'll get him out. You know, he'll he'll get him out. I I, I like the six and a half and, and I like the odds on it because it's paying almost yeah, you know, close to even money, minus one twenty. So it's a three hundred dollar bet and it's gonna make us ninety three thirty three. So we're we're bringing the odds down if he can get the stop, it's an under six and a half. The other option was we, Steve Claggett by KO T K O D Q. Can do that it's minus 210 you you can do that but why not just take the under six and a half it's only a schedule eight rounder so this only gives you a round and a half a second half of the seventh and the eighth um so uh, it's just not wise to do that i would take this it pays much better or you could just bet that clagger knocks him out and screw all of this I'm not doing that either. Your head's a little bit. You, you make a little bit back on the times to bet if, if it does go to the money line. But you could you could do that. This is how I would bet it. Claggart on the money line and under six and a half. We're going to make a little bit of money on this. You know, the, the, I, I like the under six and a half. That's, that, that's what I like about this bet. That's why I want to do it because I, I really like that. And it gives you a chance to make some money. We're going to keep adding. We're going to keep – you know, uh, just, just steamroll and just pocketing that money, banking that money, and just keep rolling on to the next. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Follow me at all forms of 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog. Also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um... Oh, yeah, the Patreon. Join the Patreon. You get all types of perks, great perks. You get a free T-shirt. You get a uh, free uh, Lock of the Week, a whole bunch of perks, uh, just $5 a month. You, you get Lock of the Week, you're going to make a ton of money. You get a free T-shirt, you're going to be envying your friends. The T-shirt is, is worth the price of admission and some. So why not join? Uh, follow me, 3 box, 3 box, and block. It is January 24th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.